Well, if you're looking for a break from the cold, we found a few hot options in Asheville to get the blood back pumping again. News 13's Kimberly King is live in Biltmore Park. And Kim, I believe you're standing by a pretty good option right there. Larry, if you have to be out in the cold, you want to stay at least somewhere warm. We found this fire pit here at Trevinia in Biltmore Park. And if you do have to be out in the cold, you definitely want to stay in a warm area if you can. But we also found other hot spots you might want to check out. We actually ask you to show up about 15 or 20 minutes ahead of schedule because we follow the Japanese tradition where we ask you to shower before we go into the tub. Yes, you heard that right. And Bob Somerville is signing up to strip down, giving himself a treat with a visit to Shoji Retreat's hot tubs in the cold, getting into 104 degree water he knows will make him feel so nice. A lot better than I did when I went from my car to the door. People love to come here in the cold weather, and if it's snowing, if people really like it's drawn draws people in people like Kathy Davison and Tom Hannon they were in the water earlier enjoying the heat on their bare skin uh, from a temperature perspective this is the perfect time of year to do it this is a fire to get stoked about there we go. at Grove Park Inn, the legendary fireplaces draw guests it's very nice to be away from the cold Kathy and Harry Dutton from Durham enjoying the heat the weather is the same there as it is here today with no break from the cold for ice sculpture artist Ryan Spangler. The temperatures outside, he says, have been colder than in here. It's 20 degrees in here, so even if it's 20 degrees out there, it doesn't bother me too much at all. His boss shows us where the ice work begins. We make our own blocks of ice. They're 40 by 20 by 10. Blocks becoming frozen works of art like this. Pinnacle vodka and other sculptures, including a lobster and bass for a buffet at the Grove Park Inn. We're celebrating their 43rd anniversary. Kathy said her husband assured her of one thing. He told me if there was, the, there was no fire in the fireplace, he'd make sure I stayed warm. <laughs> Hey, that sounds good to me. Very cute. And speaking of cute, how about anchors that are now getting nice and cold at ice desks? That's right, where they do the weather and news in the elements from Cleveland to Denver. Now, Larry, we know how Darcel absolutely loves the cold. She comes into the newsroom in the afternoon all bundled <laughs> up in her coat. So I don't know if that would fly with her. Maybe you guys need to try those hot tubs, though, anchoring from the hot tubs here. You stand a better chance from the hot tub than the ice desk. At least <laughs> All for right, me. I'm no waiting way. for that, Darcel. <laughs>